We are here with our Sunday haul, and yes, these two ladies arrived. Um, one arrived yesterday, and the other arrived like Wednesday. The brunette arrived Wednesday, and the redhead arrived yesterday. And one is coming tomorrow. Yeah, I know, you guys, it's bad. Any hoosers, all right. Um, cutie patooties, love her cabbage patch little outfit. Um, she's got her diaper on, she's got her little shoes, this little redhead, um, she has her braids, she's got all original Cabbage Patch Kid clothing on, um, some of the Cabbage Patch Kids didn't come with clothes, they came with, like, little booties, so that's what she has, but she's absolutely adorable, I love her face, her face just, like, drew me in when I was looking at them, and I get them all on eBay, so... If you collect Couch Hatch Kids, then I don't know if you guys are where you're collecting them from, but I do eBay. And I can't find one. And if you're a collector and you can't find something, I mean, okay, I'm, I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I wouldn't have known I was missing her unless I started counting all the Couch Patch Kids I had. And then I was like, where is she? I have not seen her. I went through this house on Thursday um, and Friday and I tore it apart up and down. And I can, I am missing a Cabbage Patch Kid and I am just like livid with a capital L because, um, it's my collection, you know, it's a collection and <laughs> she's blonde and has a little tooth and I cannot find her. I, you guys, I don't understand what happens in a one bedroom condo that things get eaten up and just swallowed into like some type of, of abyss. So, anyways, that's what uh, just talking about it is like making me just get upset. So I'm just gonna stop talking about it. And my husband and I, we really need to go to the storage unit. I need to go through bins and so forth. But it's like raining. It's ugly, nasty today. Thank God it, it rained today and not yesterday when I was able to film our vlog. Miss, if you haven't checked out our vlog, check it out. It's pretty fun. Um, and yeah. All right. So. That is the first two items of the haul. And you guys are never going to believe this amazing friend mail um, that I received. And also to Miss Coco Diva and Susan, I will be mailing your stuff out this week. And that's a promise. I am just like so behind in everything. <laughs> but um, yeah, I have to wrap everything like individually with bubble wrap because there's so many little items that are going that are breakables. So I want to make sure nothing gets broken in transit. But I am going to show you their mail to me, and you guys are going to be really amazed. And also, the stuff that was handmade. It is on, I'm just, I'm just going to show it to you guys, and then we'll get into the rest of the haul. From Susan, and this is Ray Dunn pajamas in a size large, and it says Mary, and it has the cute red and black plaid pants. Love, I love, love, love Ray Dunn pajamas. So thank you so much, Susan. And oh my gosh, I've been dying to open these up, but I wanted to wait until, of course, I shot it. Cozy winter. I am. Um, I love lip balm. So this is gonna be so fun. Snickerdoodle, fruit cake, marshmallow, lemon, chocolate and key lime then look at this you guys is that not cute is she not stinking adorable that hello kitty mug love it and she's wearing like a christmas tree dress she is so stinking cute i'm gonna wash her and put her on my tree mug and she got me the little elf the little elf um friend what it's called a plushie and so i'm gonna put him somewhere maybe they'll sit maybe i'll put them out like that that would be that'd be kind of cute have him sitting out there that's cute i like that i like that i like that i like that so i finally have one so yay i'm super glad thank you so much susan i love everything and then more lip balm which i am like all about i can never have enough lip balm this is gumdrop lip balm oh it was a whole package okay Sometimes it takes me a minute or a couple days. Okay. It was a whole package. You cut it in half to fit. All right. Gumdrop, candy cane, ginger, coconut, apple pie, and berry sweet. Love, love, love it. 
Um, and then this is really cute too. I love this C4 crystal. That is adorable. I never even saw that. That is super stinking cute. This would actually go. I think I'm going to put this on my tier tray somewhere. I'm going to try and see where I can put it, fit it in. Hold on. Is this not the cutest? It's a gingerbread train, you guys. I am like, look at the bear is driving. Look at this. It is peppermint wheels, a peppermint up in the front, a gumdrop, and look at all the little friends and toys and gingerbread men it's bringing. I know exactly where this is going to go. Exactly. It is like the perfect spot and the most perfect spot for this piece. Thank you so much, Susan. And yeah, I am thrilled beyond. I mean, this, like, I was just like, so wow. Thank you so, so very much. I love absolutely everything. And, um, yeah. So, anyways, I am just, like, floored. I think this train is going to be... I have to move a couple pieces around, but as soon as I saw this train, I was like, I know where it's going to go. And this will be something that I will treasure for many years to come. This is, like... Just an amazing find. I don't even know where you found it, but that is just so awesome. Thank you so, so very much. You guys, Lee made this. I'm, I hope I'm getting it all in. Look at that. Okay, let's just let's just take a look, okay? <laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh, my God. Okay, we have the gingerbread boy and girl. We have the rolling pin. North Pole Gingerbread Bakery. Look at this ribbon. She makes this stuff. Plus, look, she even sealed this gingerbread cookies, the recipe. I mean, I have to hang this in my, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hang this in my kitchen and I'm going to hang it by my hot chocolate bar. That's going to be what my husband's going to have to do today. You guys, it, it's just, it's gorgeous. It, I mean, it. this is another item that will be just cherished for so many years to come i mean my goodness thank you lee i was like just didn't even know i mean when, when my husband brought the package i was just wow is all i can say i mean the time and it is so it's gorgeous i mean just thank you so much i absolutely love it look at that I mean, honestly, like we, I mean, all the stores I've been to, everywhere I go, I have never seen something that is so stinking cute and just, I mean, imagine what they would try and sell this for at a store. I just, I mean, seriously, it would be, you know, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It is gorgeous. Absolutely, absolutely 100% beautiful. And my husband's going to hang it by the hot chocolate bar. I just need to make room for it. So, um, okay. So the house, like I said, I'm going to be showing on Christmas Eve because that's kind of like the Christmas Eve vlog, kind of like the tradition. So, um, the house is 90% done. I just need to finish decorating my tree in the master bedroom. This stuff is stuff that needs to go like the fall stuff needs to go into storage. So that's like part of the hall. And this is stuff that I still need to find little spots for and just little things. But other than that, we're 90% we're there, which is good. So, but gosh, Lee, I am just like floored. Okay. And that's not it. That, I mean, this would be like more than enough, but Lee, she just is an amazing crafter. It's just, wait till you guys see the next piece. Look how beautiful this is. Look at that. North Pole Candy Canes, Santa's favorite. You guys, I mean, seriously. Like, wow. Okay, this little galvanized part did come off, but that's not an issue. Like, my husband will glue this with, I think we have like that easy 3000 glue or something. So, but still. I mean, <laughs> I just, it's like, it's like everything that I love, you know, peppermint, gingerbread. It is just awesome. Get this beautiful garland. It is little hats. Little, little hats, you guys. <laughs> With white beads. I mean, this is not Scream Christmas. I think what I'm going to try and do, well, I don't want to say anything. I, I have to figure it out. I'm not sure. So I'm just, I'm just not going to say anything. They're little beanies. I mean, gosh, Lee, you are just, you are so amazing. I mean, I don't, the talent you have is just, 
it's just mind blowing. And that you even think of me is just, I, I'm literally speechless because I honestly don't expect anyone to send me anything. And you have just been so kind and generous with your time and all the beauty. I mean, this is just so beautiful. I mean, if I made this, I don't know if I could part with it. (laughs) You know I mean? And you're just so giving and your generosity is just, I don't even know what to say, except you just, I love it. And I will literally cherish these items. These will be used for many Christmases and years to come because I, I just thank you so very much is all I can really say, Lee. And it did come with a card. So I'm, I'll show you guys the card. I'm going to peruse the card really quick. Sometimes I don't want to read these cards on camera. So hold on. Look at this card. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God, Lee. This is awesome. Hold on, you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open it up and read it really quick. Oh, my gosh, Lee. Please don't apologize. I mean... No, <laughs> trust me. Like this, I mean, I'm not even done decorating. So this is perfect. You guys, she used, okay. I read the card from, she, for, okay, you guys, for the garland, um, paper, towel, rolls, and yarn. Paper, towel, rolls, and yarn. I mean, and they're perfect. I mean, these things are perfect, you guys. I th- Okay, I think I know how you did this because I tried it and mine came out like super wonky. <laughs> I tried making these for my little marshmallow ladies. I mean, they came out like, uh, um, but I am just, you know, but no, Lee, please don't apologize for any. I absolutely love this stuff. Like I said, my husband, I'm going to have to move a couple of pictures around, but this is going on the wall next to the hot chocolate bar, this cutting board. And then I'll have my husband glue this back on. That won't be an issue. And that will go probably gonna put it on the table probably next to him so but thank you so much lee and um if i don't contact you today by email i will be contacting you next week by email because um i'm so far behind right now with just so much stuff okay um but i will be getting back to you and honestly when when i do it like a video it's also my biggest way to say thank you is to do it on the video and show everyone you know the awesome amazing friend mail but um i I will also personally get back to you lee as well so thank you so very much this this card is (laughs) is the cutest thing so i'm gonna put this somewhere i'm gonna put this on my dresser so i can see it every single day because i've decorated um the master bedroom is all decorated all right now i think that is all the friend mail. I might be wrong, but hold on. I'm looking. Hold on. And again, thank you. All right, you guys. Let's do this. Let's get into the haul. All right. I went to Big Lots. It was BOGO. No. I don't know. Buy three. Buy two, get one um, free. Yeah. For gift sets. So I was all on it. All right. Um, because, I mean, I bought two of the Axe at Target, and I didn't get... I can get Jack for free, so, <laughs> you know, if I can get something for free, I'm going to be all over it. You guys know me. So, anyways, as I've told you before, my husband and I both like these, um, especially the loofah alone is five something, because my husband would buy me the loofah. I love the loofah, so that's why I really like these, and we also both like the um, the bath and body gel, the, the, the gel, whatever, the shower gel, because... Like I said, I get tired of smelling like a fruit or a flower. So sometimes I just need some... I think, like, the mint fragrances, I've said this before, are very invigorating. Like, they just smell good, you know? And then, of course, I did get this, which matches him. Super cute. And um, he is marshmallow-flavored lip balm. All right. But since my husband's like, I have so much... Because... My husband and I use shower gel a lot differently. I use a lot. He rations his out like it's the last stuff on earth. Um, I did buy this for me, and this is the Caress Cocoa Butter and Oat Milk and Shea Butter and Brown Sugar. I like these. They give a good scrub. I'm also going to be enjoying 
busting out this bad boy. And then there's a $2 off coupon per one body wash. So I'll break that out. So anyways, just a good deal. And also, I mean, budgeting, you know, I mean, some people have 14 grandchildren. I mean, you know, buy two, get one free is going to come in handy. So that, you know, if you buy, I don't even want to try and do the math. We had 14 grandchildren, but you guys, it would make sense to do this because they're $10 each and everyone likes, you know, you get the loofah, you get the good smelly stuff and it's just, it's a good deal. So anyways, all right, tomorrow, thank you for whoever let me know in the comment section. I'm also going to be posting it on the Instagram. Christmas is 70%, 70% off. So yeah, we will definitely be hitting Hobby Lobby and, um, and so forth. All right, so that's big lots. All right, as you all know, I have some type of pajama addiction. So, but twelve ninety eight at um, Wally Mart. So again, you have a lot of people to buy for. I bought these in a medium because I'm really swimming in the larges. So I bought these in a medium. I have no idea what that. Oh, hold on. All right. So if you've been with me, you guys know that I have some type of strange addiction to um, to pajamas, and also. Um, Let's talk about the channel for a really brief moment. I've kind of have noticed that, like, um, the way I talk to you guys, it's as if though um, I'm not expecting any new people to watch me. <laughs> because I could just imagine, like, new people watching this channel and being like, what is this crazy woman talking about? And, but the people, I mean, if you watch this channel, you guys know what I'm talking about. And I kind of have to, um, I'm not going to change my style completely because I, I don't think I could, even if I tried or really wanted to. But when you start watching me, you'll start knowing like my little quirks and like the little things that I say or do. Some people have noticed that I have like OCD. I always get the second one behind the first or even the third. It just depends. Um, just little things. And I really do speak to you all as if though I was talking to a friend and we were having coffee and I need to remember that there's a lot of people tuning in that aren't going to have a clue what I'm talking about. And so I'm trying to remember that <laughs> as I do our shop with me's and our hauls and so forth, because, um, you know, I mean, I definitely, I mean, we are a YouTube channel and of course I want us to make more friends and I just kind of need to remember that not everyone is going to understand what I'm talking about because I really do speak to all of you as if though we we're here having a cup of coffee and just chatting. So, yeah. All right. So if you're new, welcome. And I hope you decide to stick around um, and so forth. And we do a lot of shopping on this channel. And, um, yeah, we love to shop on this channel. <laughs> and we go to a huge, we go to a lot of different places and there's, I've been reading the comment section and there, I know what stores I need to go to. I've seen the request and we will be going. All right. So the pajamas. Yeah, you guys, I, I, I've got to stop with the pajamas. Okay. And speaking of stopping with pajamas, I got to stop with this too, you guys. I'm going to have so many Christmas stores. I'm gonna, they're going to have to go into storage. All right. I almost bought this one. And that's why some, and that's why it looks familiar. I, I was so close to buying it. But I didn't. And then I saw it again and I was like, I have to have it. It's just, it's too cute. I need this, you know. All right. So I got a size medium. This time I did not get a large because I'm like, a medium will be fine. And this is super cute. It's kind of out of my comfort zone because it's got a lot of white in it. You all know, like, I don't really wear white. Like, the whole back is white. But anyways, so bought that at Wally Mart. All right, Sensationals is still a dollar, so I bought 20 of them, and I'm just going to show you, like, some random ones. Cupcake, that's good for Valentine's. Um, this, I just decided, why not, you know, honey crisp Cider. I'm, and when we go to Walmart, every time we go, I'm going to pick up 20 more, because I don't know when I'm going to find them again for a dollar, and you all know I have, like, one, two... I have four wax melts burning at all times in the house and they, and I change them if not every day, every other day. So it's constant. And the one in the bedroom, that one gets like two cubes every single day. So yeah, that's why there's so many wax melts. That I buy so many. All right. And then I also bought warm cottage and this is a very, very 
strong scent. So if you do not like strong scents, I do not recommend Farmhouse Plaid, but I am loving it. Every time I walk into the house, it's like, whew, you know, it smells like Christmas. And I love that cozy, cozy smell. Merry Mocha. I finally just decided to get this one. I was like, uh, -huh, I'll just get it. Um, and let me see. Is there anything other? Did I buy 20? Maybe I didn't buy 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I bought a dozen. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and get more. And then I also decided to buy frosted cinnamon cookies. Doesn't that look good? Ooh. Looks yummy. Um all right, so that's what I got at Walmart. I'm, I'm, as you can see, like the the hauls are getting smaller because I just there's not really a reason for me to be buying so much. And I'm looking around, and I did not haul anything from Dollar Tree, <laughs> so I cannot call this like a Dollar Tree Plus haul because there's nothing from Dollar Tree. And let's talk about Dollar Tree. Um, okay, yesterday I was really mad about the whole like you know, and then I kind of understood where she was coming from because I put a lipstick inside the cart, and I guess she thought I put it in my bag. But I didn't. I ended up putting the lipstick back because I wasn't going to buy anything from that store. I was like, I'm not giving them not one <laughs> penny, right? <laughs> so um, I think, like I said, what we're going to do is on Tuesday, you know, I'll go to two Dollar Trees Max. It'll be, and I'll load up what I find. And what I find is what I find. You know, again, I've said this time before, I can't shoot what's not there. You know, I, I can't. And, um, then Saturday will be our, you know, our big Dollar Tree shop with me. So Tuesday will be like a little stop in looky loo and let's see, you know, like let's, let's take a look at the new bags that are coming in. Let's take a look at more of like the, um, you know, build a basket, all like that little stuff that's, that's coming in and hopefully they're going to start getting Valentine's in. Because a lot of the stores are running so low on stock, but then they keep, but then the managers keep telling me that that um, Dollar Tree keeps sending them more and more of the Christmas. So I don't know what's going on, but I would like to see Valentine's Day start trickling in. That would be nice. Um, so that's what's going to happen with Dollar Tree. All right. Um, but like I said, I mean, I don't have, I bought nada from Dollar Tree. And I went to Dollar Tree on Tuesday and I went to Dollar Tree on Friday and on Saturday and I didn't buy anything. So that may change though, because I might need to buy some bags for my niece and my nephew. So, all right, really quick, let's look at these beautiful Christmas flowers my husband bought for me. Gorgeous bouquet. All right, Susan, I found a spot for that C right there. I squeezed it in. So <laughs> thank you so very much. I love it. All right. Um, let me get into, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to pick up a bag at this point and we'll get into it. All right, so we're going to talk about a couple of things. Let's talk about other YouTubers, okay? Because I saw something and I was like, you know what? This is hilarious. I mean, this is hilarious. All I want to say is if you're a other YouTuber and you hear something negative about me, all I ask is that you give, is that you actually take the chance to get to know me. You know, um, hit me up on Instagram or now, well... It's kind of hard to hit me up because I'm all over the place. And honestly, as soon as I load these videos up, I unplug. It's been so bad that we've been hit with um, copyright, like the music. And I don't even know about it till the next day because I'm not even checking our videos and how they're doing. I'm just like totally unplugging, you know. But I just ask that you get, that you take the chance, you know, get to know me. Don't listen to what p other people have to say. And also ask yourselves what they're saying is more a reflection on them than it will ever be on me because I can't tell you how many countless apologies I have received from other YouTubers saying, you know, I'm sorry. And okay, great. You apologize. But the fact is, is that for a year or two, you so eagerly wanted to believe these horrific, horrible things about me that something about me or something about this channel triggered you so heavily that you were ready to eat up this, this horrible gossip, you know, something that is just so mind boggling that anyone could be how you could possibly believe this is just out of this realm. And, and you, I mean, you're not going to see us doing collabs. 
you know, and there's a, there's a big reason why, and I have many reasons why, um, because, you know, I've had so much, like I said, I mean, I could show you guys literally screenshots of at least five YouTubers saying that they're sorry to me for what they've done to what, what they have said about me, my husband, Mr. Ollie, who passed away and was a geriatric dog. I mean, I can't even, it was, you know, and I will say, you know, okay, yeah, I kind of sort of forgive you, but like, we're not going to be friends. You know, that's just, it, it. I cannot be friends with people that, that wrote those things about me and didn't even, did not even think that, hey, you know, maybe this is not true about this person. Like maybe I should get to know this person and then to not even take accountability that is just where I just like was like, wow, you know, like no one's even taking accountability. They're all pointing the, the finger at someone else. This person said this and I believe like no one took accountability. And, and that was another thing that just blew my mind. So that's that's why I choose to to not mention other YouTube channels, to not collab because I've just been burned too many times and I'm not going to, I am not going to go through it. And I don't mention other YouTube channels names on this platform. I will not name them on this platform. Um, and trust me, if I ever do name you on this platform, it's not going to be for a good reason, you know, cause I don't, I don't have anything to hide. Like, <laughs> you know, I mean, every screenshot, I have, I mean, I have everything, you know, and it just, I just find it so funny that people can pretend that they're pushing positivity and unity between fellow female YouTubers. But yet when it comes to me, I'm fair game. It's not even a fair game. How is ganging up on one YouTuber fair game? And it's, it's lies, you know, that's, that's not fair game. And then you're going to apologize. And then you're going to think like, okay, so like, we're going to be friends. That's not the way life works. And that's not the way my life works, you know? Um, and after speaking to my husband and so forth, he was just like, you need to make a decision. And I did make a decision. And I'm not going to ever regret that decision because, you know, you're not going to find screenshots of me speaking ill about you. So that speaks volumes right there, you know? Um, yeah. So I just, I just find it just highly ironic that the people that preach one thing do exactly the opposite behind the scenes of what goes on in the YouTube world. And we're just going to leave it at that. All right, let's keep going. All right, I saw these bags. I bought. They're a two pack, and they're a dollar ninety nine. Bottom. How stinking cute are these? I want to keep these like really nice and pristine because I'm gonna put Fat Fat's stuff in here. And if you guys don't know who Fat Fat is, that's my niece. She's gonna be a year in January, and my my sister bequeathed her the name Fat Fat. I would never call any. You know, I would never call her Fat Fat on my own. Um, but she's thinning out. I will say that she is starting to, you know, lose some rolls. Um, but she's a cutie patootie. Anyways, I just saw this and I really just thought I would just wanted to put, you know, fat, fat stuff in there. And then also I like the second one and I'm just like, oh my gosh, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to change out my tote that I'm carrying my Louis in and put and use this one or maybe this one. That's why I bought three. So there's enough for everyone. Anyways, you guys um, this came from, I believe, God, where did I, get, I just pulled this out. Is it home goods? Marshalls. Marshalls. I miss, I cannot find the gingerbread one by, from home goods. Eh, I'm okay. I found those from Marshalls. Those are cute. All right. So we're going to get into Marshalls. I forgot what I bought at Marshalls. So this will be a big surprise to me. Hold on. I bought this for Fat Fat and it comes, it was, tw it's $12. It was marked down to $12. I don't know what it was. It looks like Nineteen ninety nine, or I don't know. It was marked down twice. Hold on, let me see if I can figure this out. Hold on. All right, looks like nineteen ninety nine. Okay, so anyways, I got it on a sale. You know, 
nothing wrong with that. It's by Shabby Chic. It has a cute little hat. Love those little buttons, and they're real buttons. And then you can see how it has like um, glimmer. It's kind of a, it is silver, not kind of, it is silver. I got her 18 months, and it has little tights. Because I asked my sister, you know, like, what size is she? And she said, she's really like 12 months, but they, but she goes into 18 months because, um, well, she is fat, fat fur. She's called fat, fat for a reason. She's kind of, um, how do you say it? She's a little butterball. So it's a little bit long, but it fits her width wise, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So anyways, this stretches and, you know, if it doesn't fit her right now, I mean, we're just getting into winter, so she'll be able to wear it, you know, maybe in February, March. It's a cute little outfit. So that's going to be one of her gifts. All right. So I did like the math in my head and I was like, you know what? I'd rather pay $4.99 and get 30 what is that? 30, 16, 14, 60, right? Am I right? I think I'm right. Um, pieces for four ninety nine because I think you get, and it's, it's all cute. I mean, you do get 30 white ones and you get four sequin and you get 14 solid and then you get four, 12 specialties. So I am going to be needing a lot of tissue paper for my niece and my nephew. And not so much my husband, because I already know what I'm going to get him. And he he's kind of okay. I mean, he is okay with it. Um, he's going to get a big fat gift card. Like, I think I'm just going to get him, like, a Visa prepaid card. Or, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. If it's going to be that or what. But it's going to be, like, I think I'm going to give him a $500 card. Or I may just give him 500 in cash. Um, because right now, like, pretty much, I mean... I buy all of his clothes and I buy like, you know, all of his stuff. And he has so much like he has, there's stuff he has, he has not even worn. Like the man holds on to things as if though, I don't even know. I mean, he has like last Christmas's short clothing. So I think money or a, maybe I'll just split up gift cards. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to give him a gift card to like raising canes, like to like different places that he can go to, to eat when he's at work and so forth. So Anyways, I'll show you guys everything like I always do. But this paper is really pretty, and I bought it mainly for my niece and my nephew. All right, and I really I really don't want to buy any more Christmas decorations. I mean, I need more Christmas de decor in here. Like, I need a hole in my head. But I saw this, and I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> this is too cute. <laughs> so, of course, I got it. Cookies for Santa, and it's $7.99. You know, I, I just was like, yeah, I need to have that. Um, I think that's all I bought from Marshall's found mac makeup and i don't know susan is mac makeup bad at marshall's i don't know i just needed something to hold me over till my order came in from mac but this is what i got foundation see i didn't notice i thought this was totally unopened this means somebody opened it maybe it was me because it was totally unopened before maybe i got a little bit of foundation on me i don't know but this one was not open because it has no foundation on it and I did buy these two. But like I said, um, I'm waiting for my MAC order to come. And I was in some desperate need. So, as a matter of fact, I need to... I don't know what's going on with MAC right now. I don't know if it's the holidays. But they're having, like, a really hard time with their website and so forth. Because I'm usually on auto replenishment with them. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to either try and give them another call at customer service. Or somehow, I don't know, deal with it online. But they're really busy with their customer service. It took me like 20 minutes to get to talk to an agent. And then she couldn't help me with the auto replenishment. So I don't know what's going on. All right. This was $14.99. This is usually like $27 or $32. I don't know. I forget how much I pay for this. And then I've never used this, but it has SPF $14.99. So I don't, I've never bought this. I don't know how much I sell at retail. Um, all right. And let's see. Let's get into, let's get into TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. All right. Sorry, you guys. I got her at Marshall's. She's the last. No, Home Goods. Well, all right. We'll get into Home Goods. I'm all over the place today. All right. She is $12.99 and she's Valentini. She is Valentini. She's a cutie. Uh, I mean, I could put her out right now and she could go into Valentine's Day. So I could use her. Technically, I could use her for Christmas. I don't know. She has two girlfriends here already, so I might put her out for Christmas and just let her transition into Valentine. 
All right. And then I did get this XOXO and this is by Ray Dunn. It's not pink, but it does have pink in it. So I guess I'll keep it. $12.99. I did pay $12.99 for that. Oh, oh, I don't know. Because I did see that those really cute pink ones. Oh, this might go in the back of my car. And when I roll, and when I roll up to Marshall's and I see like a cuter one, I may just exchange it out because I don't know. I don't know. I got to think about this. I, I, I don't know. I can't make these decisions right now. I have to think about this. Um, it's cute. I liked it at the moment. I still like it and I could still see it working. All right. Now I'm going into TJ Maxx. I think I got a good deal considering that they're selling her stuff for $24.99. Now this is only $19.99. And what I really like is that number one, I love conversation hearts. If you've been with me for Valentine's day, I the conversation hearts get me every single time. Um, and so when I saw this and it said sweetheart, and then it has, this mint green um topper i just was like wow okay and then honestly you guys i don't have a clue where this is gonna go it's gonna go underneath the table i think because i don't have anywhere to put it um it is cute i really really like it and the fact that it was still 19.99 and it's a big canister was a definite plus all right this is a nice find um i'm on instagram and so you know how I mean, you know how these social media sites work. As soon as they figure out that you like something, they're going to keep showing it to you. Well, some lady had like, I don't know, five or six of these in her cart because they either give them to their friends or they resell them. And this is a hot find. And the TJ Maxx I went to had two. And I left one because I only need one. <laughs> well, actually, I, mean, I could have gotten two. But no, I don't know. I'm not going to start thinking like about that. Um, I don't need two of these. Well, I mean, I could arrange it so it looked really cute. Like... Ooh, you know what would have looked cute is, hold on, maybe spaced out a little bit, another one on that side, but no, because these are actually, I mean, these are going to go on my kitchen counter and I'm actually going to use them like I'm using my Christmas ones. So I kind of like the different looks and look at that. I mean, it is, I, I love this. I am getting into valentine i really really am i am like remember you guys i've been shooting christmas since july um that is cute that just warms my heart i love the pale pink for for christmas i mean yeah for christmas too i mean glam christmas is, is awesome pale pink for valentini and then the sweethearts and then the i love my all-time favorite conversation heart flavor is banana so i love the yellow and then the XOXO just flows. So very pretty. Um, now, I did buy a baby red canister because, again, that's another hot item. But I don't go hardcore red for Valentine's Day because I'm just coming. I'll, I'll be coming out of Christmas. And it's just like we have been seeing red. Well, yeah. I mean, I've been shooting tons of red since, gosh, when they started bringing out fourth of july and then it's just gone into you know christmas and so forth but um let me show you the baby canister i found all right here's the baby red canister and again this is not this is like from last year because th th this is old and someone a friend that collects ray dunn he actually showed me how to read these and find out what when it came out and of course i totally forgot but hopefully i'll see him around but anyways, all right. So while I was perusing, you know, Instagram and they were hitting me with all this Ray Dunn Valentine's Day stuff, I was like, all right, this is a hot find. It's also a hot, really hot find in pale pink. I think pale pink is like the one that people really, really want. But I found it in red and I'm not going to be like, I, I, I mean, I wanted it, obviously. And then that's a hot find. This I don't think is a hot find. But anyways, this is very I wish that was in pale pink I'm not gonna lie I do wish it was in pale pink but if I find the pale pink one I'm gonna get it I will buy it <laughs> in a hot minute and um yeah so had a blast at TJ Maxx and I totally needed that like retail pick me up after the whole Dollar Tree thing so I was totally totally happy to be able to score these finds and Wait till you guys see this. Look at this. And like I said yesterday, I did not buy myself a Christmas 
um, gingerbread house. So I got myself a Valentine's Day one. So I decided to bite the twenty four ninety nine bullet and just do it because you know what? There was two and I'm not going to, I mean, if I find this again, I'll be very surprised. If I do find it again, guess what? I'm going to buy another one. Why? Because, um, I will use it in another part of my big mansion. <laughs> you guys know me. If I like something and especially if I'm able to get it again, I will get it in a heartbeat. Um, I didn't buy two yesterday, uh, yesterday because just didn't feel like, I didn't feel it, the need, but seeing as I go to so many stores, the chances of me running into something similar or the same item are very, very, are within my favor. So I'll, I'll, I'll get it. All right. I'm gonna look around, but I think that's it. Like I said, I mean, this is a pretty good size haul, um, what made it a really excellent haul was all that amazing friend mail. Again, thank you, Lee. Thank you, Susan. And I will also be showing you all what I'm sending Coco Diva and Susan as well. So you guys can see. And a lot of you want to know, like, um, how do I exchange gifts with friends from the channel? Um, I have known Miss Coco Diva. She's been like with me since I had 53 friends. So that is going back a long time with the channel. And then Susan and I started chatting via Instagram messenger. And then, um, I sent her something and then we just kind of got, then she sent me something and we just built up that trust. Um, I will say last year though, I am, how do you say this? I'm very cautious. Last year I had someone from the channel who was always commenting and really, really, you know, seemed to be like a friend of the channel. She told me she was sending me a Christmas package and I went all out on this Christmas package. I sent her a full on Christmas canister, like a big one. I sent out a whole huge package and it was like some ridiculous, insane price to ship. Okay. Um, and then once, you know, I think I sent it priority mail. So I got notified when it, when she received it. And I basically, the last email I received from her was basically saying that she had a small post office and she didn't know where my package was or I had been lost or something. And I was just kind of like, okay, this is, seems kind of weird because the, your small post office was able to receive my package. <laughs> You know what I mean? So I just chalked it up as a big loss and then I never heard from her again. And I was like, okay, I got, you know, I got fleeced. That's, that's fine. It happens, but live and learn, live and learn. Also be very careful of those. <laughs> Speaking of getting fleeced, this is not the only time I got fleeced. I got fleeced in September, um, on Instagram. And I really wish I could report this company. If I could remember who they are, they were showing all of these really amazing, amazing wreaths for super cheap. And I was like, this can't be real. This can't be real. Um, this is like too good to be true. Like a beautiful wreath that, you know, a beautiful gingerbread wreath that I ordered for like twenty one ninety nine or twenty seven ninety nine. And I looked them up, I Googled them and people were like, it, it, they, they, they kind of had mixed reviews, you know, kind of some said they were sketchy. Some said they weren't. So I just, I put my order in and usually when you order from a company, you'll get an email within an hour or if not a minute confirming your order and giving you an order number and all that. And that never came. And so I emailed them and I said, you know, you know, my concerns. And they said, Oh, don't worry. You know, like we're running behind. It'll be shipped out, you know, like wait a month. Well, it's what December 11th. I'm not getting that wreath, that twenty one ninety nine or twenty seven ninety nine. How much I can't remember how much it was is gone. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to call my cart, my my credit card company, and we're, I'm gonna have to have them look up the month of September, and I'm gonna have to have them look up this company because I'm gonna report them because I want my money back. You know, you're not gonna send me the product at least refund me my money. But chances of them even being around, they probably already have changed their name and so forth. And I don't think I'm getting my money back. But just be careful, you guys out there. You know, even on Instagram, like they were advertising I, over and over. And now I can't find them at all. So just be careful, you know. Um, I don't want you guys to fall for what I fell for. If it seems too good to be true, it is too good to be true. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, Facebook as well. Facebook is another one. They were, they were advertising heavily on Facebook too. So just be careful of um, 
I mean, I'm sure a lot of you are, you know, know this, but I'm just sharing my personal experience. So yeah. All right, you guys, this is a haul and I hope I was not like too much of a downer, but I just had to, you know, again, if you don't know me and you're hearing a whole bunch of negative stuff about me, all I ask is that you reach out and like get to know me, you know, judge me based on your personal experiences and not, um, idle gossip. Because um, you don't really, I've heard things about other YouTubers and I chalk it up as um, I'll find out, you know, I'm not going to write this person off. You know, I will, I, I'll find out if they're a good person or if they're a nice person, you know, and I don't, I don't have any interest in hearing negative things about other YouTubers because Again, there's two sides to a story, and I'm only hearing one side, and I don't even know if it's even the truth. So, just putting that out there. And I don't know why our channel triggers so many people, or what it is. And I understand I have a really strong personality, and you either like me or you don't. I get that. I know that about myself. But get to know me, you know, before you judge. That's all I'm asking. Okay. All right. We are going to go because I want to jump in the shower and I want to eat some, an early, well, yeah, an early dinner, I guess. I'm hungry. All I had yesterday was a vegetarian sub sandwich and then I went to sleep. So anyways, I have to start sorting out the Susan and Miss Coco Diva stuff and start putting it, start wrapping stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Either if I don't do it today, else, I'm going to do doing it tomorrow. I also have to pull out everything. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening. And I hope you all got to check out the vlog. Um, it's a little, okay, this coming weekend, we're going to be gone the whole weekend. So I'm going to be vlogging. Like we're going to like a whole, like a, this whole winter wonderland that I'm talking about, like, Wait till you guys see where we're heading. We're leaving Friday morning and I'm going to start vlogging Friday and I'll load it up Friday and I'll load it up Saturday and I'll load, you know what I mean? It's going to be like a whole thing. So, um, I do plan on hitting a Dollar Tree down there and I'd like to hit a couple of other stores in that area since we're going to be there for the whole weekend. All right, my friends, thank you so very much. I truly appreciate every single one of you and you guys are amazing and I will see you tomorrow in the next video.